What's up guys, Reckless here, welcome back to another video. So today we are going to be doing an unboxing of the Cinch Gaming PS5 Pro Controller. Now this is a custom controller and oh my God, when I actually put this together, it looked amazing. I just can't wait to see what it looks like inside the box. Now this is going to be an unboxing as well as a 100% unbiased um, review on this controller towards the end. I do have a few complaints, um, but I will let you guys know that I am affiliated with Singe Gaming. So let's go ahead and do the unboxing. We got the handy dandy knife that the sis bought me. Gonna go ahead and open that up. So, as you open the box, you get this wonderful uh, mini poster. Put this down real quick. It says, Cinch Gaming. And then on the back, it says, Built for Dubs. You guys can go ahead and pause this video real quick and read that if you want. But I'm pretty sure you came here for the controller. Go ahead and open this up. Now I do want to admit this video is not scripted, but I do have notes. So this is the controller itself and it came with the PlayStation stuff. I don't know why, but this is what the controller looks like. And I'm going to switch real quick. That way I can see it. Uh, it is beautiful. Now, I sent them an original um, black PlayStation 5 controller, and I just had them made some few changes to it. As you guys can see, the original black PlayStation 5 um, faceplate as well as touchpad is still there. I had them change the PlayStation logo, the thumbsticks, the rings on the inside are also white. I had actually myself changed the um, share and options button to the original white um, PlayStation um, buttons. Um, but the D-pad as well as the symbols are the um, PlayStation 5 uh, controllers from the black ones on the back. They switched out the uh, bumpers as well as put a wonderful crip on the back and then you also get the two extra buttons now this one right here is um my x which is my jump and this one is actually my r1 because i melee with r1 instead of actually like crouching or reloading or anything like that um this controller is definitely made for fps games however there's a lot more to this controller that you can't even see for one it's a lot lighter than the original PlayStation um, controller because it does not have the rumbles in and I will get into the weight in just a few. The um, bumpers as well as the triggers are click. Um, that's literally as far down as they go. You can barely hear it, barely see it. And the same thing with the um, triggers. And let me go ahead and show you a PlayStation 5 controller. See how far that goes down? And then see how far that goes down? Coming back to this. Oh my God. This is just amazing. Wow. I have been um, using Cinch for a couple years now, and um, somewhat recently they actually have new ownership, but the quality of the controller has been immaculate ever since. Now, as for the weight, the original PS5 controller weighs in about 9.8 to 10 ounces. 
And then the Cinch PS5 Pro Controller weighs in about 7.6 ounces. Now, I will say that I have had an issue with this order. Um, and it's not anything too big. So when I had made the order, I sent in a original PS5 black controller, okay? The default option on the Cinch Gaming website when you choose a default option is white. So when I originally got this controller back, they had switched out the faceplate as well as the touchpad to white, which that is not what I wanted. If I wanted that, I would have went ahead and um, sent them a white controller. Um, so I called up uh, customer service. I let them know, hey, there was an issue and that I needed it to be fixed. And they went ahead and fixed it. So that's obviously a positive. Um, it did take a couple weeks for it to come out. However, they did let you know that ahead of time. And I love this controller. I, I really do, or at least the feel of it. But I will be doing a review on it in a couple of days. Uh, but it will be part of this video in a few. Now, I heavily, heavily urge you guys, if you want to get a custom gaming controller, keep in mind that yes, it is an investment. It is going to cost you a lot more than a regular controller, like by far. You can look anywhere in between the 180 to $300 range for different companies for getting a custom controller. And like I said, I've had um, a Cinch Gaming controller before. This one right here is actually also a Cinch Gaming controller, um, but this is an older model. This one has the LED lights on it instead of the newer um, buttons that come out. And the customization options have definitely changed from this to this. So it's definitely worth going ahead and check out. Now, if you guys wanna go ahead and save yourself a little bit of money, you guys can choose the send, uh, the send in option, which is you have a controller and you send it in to Singe Gaming and they will actually do the customizations on that controller itself. However, the controller needs to be a working condition and you also do need to make sure that the um, controller is a newer controller. So that kind of, um, how do you say, offsets the price a little bit. Um, but if you guys also want to save a little bit more money, then you can go ahead and use my coupon code RXRP and you guys can save 5% more on any custom controller or anything you actually buy from Cinch Gaming. Now, on to the review. What's up guys and welcome back to the review of the Cinch Gaming PS5 Pro controller. I have had this controller for over about a week now and so far I have not had any issues. It did get a little weird trying to get used to the um, click bumpers and triggers because I'm so used to um, trigger stops from which Cinch Gaming does not actually use anymore. Um, and I also do uh, use a control freak on the controller as well. And this is probably like the smallest one that they actually use, but I actually like, you know, using the control freak on this controller. And I have a lot of um, positive feedback for this. Um, as I said, there's nothing is wrong with the controller. Nothing has broken yet. Um, I don't want to expect anything to break, but I've had nothing but good things to say about this controller. And I heavily feel like if you guys are looking into getting a custom gaming controller, then Cinch Gaming definitely is a good choice. Um, but there are other good choices out there as well. I'm not going to just say this, um, buy this because this is the best because it's all personal preference. Um... I do have another review of another controller from a competitor that is coming soon and they are heavily well known. So definitely stay tuned for that video and it should be coming here within a few days. 
But yeah, if you guys are, like I said, if you're looking into the market of getting a custom controller, which as I said earlier on in the video, it is definitely an investment. I definitely would at least glance at cinchgaming.com. Anyways, let me know what you guys think about the unboxing and the review um, down in the comment section below. And I will see you guys on the next one. Hey, hey you, watch these videos too. I know you like them. Go, 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 go.